Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to show you quickly how to set up this Zoho Mail for WordPress plugin uh, so that you use your WordPress, your email address you want to use on your WordPress uh, website. So for many people like me, you have to mess about a little bit with WordPress for it not to send emails as WordPress at uh, yourdomainname.com. So this one, for instance, if I go to... Um, WordPress admin and so happy me golf what it is lost password and I go Paul Paul Nicholson.com if I reset the password I get an email uh, it's going to do the same as this but let's let it go through uh, da -da -da. put the right email in right you're gonna get an email that says um, Paul at Paul Nicholson dot, it says Paul Nicholson, right? But this is from a Happy Me Golf um, WordPress site. So it comes from Paul at Paul Nicholson dot com. Uh, password reset for Happy Me Golf. So I want this to say Happy Me Golf. And I want it to say support at Happy Me Golf is sending you a password reset. Not my admin password or email that I've actually done. So what I've done here, if I go, if I actually log in, Please remember it first time. If I go here, I have actually gone to the theme editor on this on this um, website. And I've gone to functions, and I've actually, if I go down to the bottom, uh, return false, add filter work. I actually haven't done it on that, but anyway. So you, sometimes you have to have to add some code to make it work. And that's fine. I've got another video on how to add code, but it can get clunky. It can break your website, and it can be an issue. But but you've come here because you want to learn how to how to use the Zoho plugin, right? So first of all, I'm going to download it. I'll put a link, but just Google Zoho Mail for WordPress, and you'll get it. I'm going to install that plugin. So if I add new upload plugin, go to my downloads drop it in there and install so you download a zip file you upload it into your plugins i'm guessing if you're here you know how to do how to install a plugin but if you don't i'm sorry if i've just jumped through that and i activate it right so currently this is sending from happy me golf as paul at paul nicholson.com i'm going to go zoho mail here right and it's asking me for my client's id my client secret a from email address and a from name so, I am a dot com. I uh, I think that's your email just probably come through. Oh no, that's a support. Actually, that's a support ticket from a company that I'm trying to use as my email provider, uh, but they keep they keep uh, breaking, so I'm not using it. So, I'm going to go to installation here, and it's going to ask me client ID, client secret, authorization redirect is or is something I need from email from name right so what i want to do it isn't obvious here please visit the zoho auth page and then you're like okay and i click on here and i'm like what the hell so that bit doesn't make sense why they don't just put the link that is this zoho mail developer console you want to go to this link so if you've got the plugin open still the plugin page you go to installation click on zoho mail uh, developer Add client ID, client name. I'm going to put Happy Me Golf. I'm going to put in HappyMeGolf.com. I'm going to grab that this information here, and I'm going to copy it. Authorization redirect URL, paste it in, and I'm going to leave it as web based and create. So now I've got a client ID. I'm going to put that into there, client ID. I've got a client secret. Right? And I'm going to put from email address and from name. So when I go to my to my Zoho Mail, let me go back. You When you log in on Zoho Mail, if you go to your picture, your profile, and go control panel, you'll see with mine, um, I've got multiple email addresses. I want to send this from support at happymegolf.com, uh, right? 
if you want if you want to send it from your main email that's fine use your main email but if you want to send it as something else you might want to send it as wordpress at your domain.com but you might want to put in something like um team team at happymegolf.com right and save uh oh it's already there uh the email address is already registered with this account okay so it's already there i think on uh on maybe support support i can't see it but it is somewhere so you want to put in whatever email address whatever email address you're going to use has to be listed here so if you're going to use support at which i've already got look support at happy me golf just click add new click whatever it is and add it to your uh, mailbox alias right so make sure it's there though that's what i'm saying because it won't work if i now go from um test at happy me golf.com and go um support happy me golf right oh support if i authorize that on a name that isn't in that list isn't in that list it's going to say it doesn't exist uh so accept create mail view mail account relation and up the top it's going to say invalid from address right so you want to make sure that one of your mailbox aliases or if it's going from your main email is you so i'm going to use support at happymegolf.com right this one i'm going to use this one so down here i put in support at happymegolf i'm going to authorize it again and now hopefully this time I'm going to get a little green bar, access granted, right? So if I log out, if I log out of this website now, and I go back to here and say lost password, paul at paulnicholson.com, reset password, password reset email has been sent. There's the beep. And now look, now I've got support happy me golf right the email is support at happy me golf.com it isn't paul nicholson paul at paul nicholson.com it now says support dash happy me golf.com from um and then the email address right so it's actually cool that it works i haven't found a problem with it as yet um yes it's another plugin on your website that you may not um you may not be happy with but as you say you just go zoho mail you're looking for this client information this client secret i'm going to reset mine so uh happy me golf i'm going to delete mine right now so that you know that you can't copy it put in so this is look so look the support is the email address and the from is what it's going to say so look from we want this to say support happy me golf you want it to come up and say where has that come from why am i getting that email address and then you authorize it so i hope that helped really quick um quick and easy way to use your zoho mail email address whatever email address you want to use with wordpress any questions uh, come drop by paulnicholson.com simply ask a question it's just going to say, ask a question. You'll have to log in. You'll get an email from me just to, to verify your email. Fire away and ask. You know, you just basically ask a question here. You know, whether it's a Zoho question or WordPress, just stick it in a category and ask me a question. I'm always here to help. Cheers, guys.